Hi guys, in this video I want to show you one of the very essential things that you are going to need when you work on WordPress uh, with some premium themes or maybe with themes in general. Well, it is a quite um, trivial thing, um, but yeah, well, you first have to know how to do it, right? And I'm talking about updating your theme in your WordPress installation and uh, well, although it's easy, as I just said, it um, yeah, there are different ways to do it, and uh, not everyone, especially not if you're starting just off with WordPress, knows how to do it, and it is quite essential. It is important to always keep your plugins and also your theme and also your WordPress installation up to date and to make sure they are all secure and you get the latest features and everything. Well, so there are three ways that I want to show you how you can update load uh, some uh, updates to your WordPress installation and uh, I'm working with um, yeah I'm showing it basically on a very uh, familiar example to you the Cepheid theme and um, or basically I show you how you would actually do it uh, the Cepheid theme is a theme I'm working on a lot as you know it's one very nice theme by Absolution and the first way to do it is through the WordPress actually. So you go to your theme. Um, in, in the case of Cephi, you have really this uh, proper menu item here. Sometimes you don't have that and uh, you should have some theme options in many free themes. You don't have this option thing. Then maybe this uh, thing or this first way to update your theme doesn't even work then wait a second or skip ahead a few minutes and i show you later how you can do it even with any other theme okay so for the first way to do it you go to your theme options if you have sephia if you have uh, impresa or b theme or many other premium themes from theme forest uh, this way should be uh, available and uh, well, you go in the theme options to the very down, to the very bottom here, where it says theme update. Uh, well, you might have noticed this menu item already, and uh, yeah, you maybe didn't know how to do it properly. Well, actually, it's it's quite simple. You actually have to enter your username and your theme forest API key. You get them from your um, theme downloads in Market Envato, in the Envato Market in theme forest and if you enter them here you save changes and you will have the option underneath the plugin section to update your theme so when you go to theme I didn't do it here at the moment actually because I noticed uh, on this local installation of this WordPress the theme is already up to date it is Zephyr 2.9 so if you did it, what I just showed you, if you put your theme forest credentials in here, then you would have appear, then the Sephir item would appear in here in the list with the plugins and you can just click on update uh, like you would be able to now with any of these plugins. So this is quite an easy way and um, yeah, quite straightforward if you ask me. Okay, let's move on to option number one and uh, number two actually because um yeah because not every theme has this uh, proper menu item in the list here um you can do it in a different way as well and uh, this is actually uh, a very good example here because if i i'm actually using the impresa theme which is uh, also by absolution is also a very very nice theme and uh, the actual, the, the latest version by Impresa is also 2.9. I'm having a very old version here, but it's also, as you can see here, just a local environment. So it doesn't really matter too much. I'm just using this for testing, but this is also a very good opportunity now to show you how to update this theme. Of course, what you have to have is the latest update on your, uh, on your disk. So I downloaded the Impresa file which is always in a folder called product minus one and uh, or maybe just product and I just had already a version which is called product before and it was called product minus one anyway in the con or the content of this folder that you download from theme forest um, yeah you should be familiar with it contains a couple of things and also two zip files one is called the impresa.zip which is the proper theme and then the impresa minus child.zip 
And do you remember in the very, very beginning when you installed WordPress and when you first installed your theme? How did you do it? Yeah, you went to appearance in your WordPress installation and you went to themes. Or so basically, this is the first item here. I'm already here. And you added a new theme to your WordPress installation. Guess what? You can also use exactly the same way to update your theme. Um, we first have to select any of the default or any other theme that you have installed. Easy is uh, to always just activate the 2015 theme and uh, then you have this Impresa theme which is uh, the, the parent theme basically and then the Impresa child. You go to uh, theme details of the Impresa, not the Impresa child, you basically don't touch this one for the update and you click on theme details and then here you can see it's the version 2.2.1, very old one. You can click on delete here on the very bottom right. Yes, you delete this theme because you have the latest version on your disk and what you're doing is basically just swapping it. You're deleting it from your installation, getting rid of it and then put the new one in the same place. Uh, it takes some time here. Somehow my local host is acting very weird lately. And yeah, what now happened is basically the child also disappeared or basically is not getting displayed. It's not disappeared. It shouldn't be actually. And um, yeah, because it, it's just not showing because the parent theme is not uh, installed either. It says here, Impresa child, the parent theme is missing. Please install the Impresa parent theme. And this is exactly what we're doing right now again. We click on add new. Um, okay, click on add new and then you should get another option of course to uh, to upload your theme as, as it is here. Sometimes a bit slow, really, what is wrong with my local host environment here? And then you have this very familiar way to upload uh, a theme from your disk. We go to the right location, select the Impresa, not the Impresa child and open it and then you go to install and you see here on the very bottom that it uploads actually the file to your WordPress installation. Here it's just saying waiting for local host. Again, very slow. MAMP was more reliable before, but maybe this is also due to some of my local things here. Okay, now it's saying installing theme, blah, 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 and it uploaded it and you can uh, activate it. But basically you can also just go back to themes because we don't want to activate the parent theme. We want to activate the child theme again and it should show up. Yes, here it is. And uh, if you go first, just to make sure to the theme details here, you can now see version 2.9. So before it was 2.2.1, now it's 2.9. Proper proof that we just successfully updated this theme and we can reactivate the Impresa child theme again. Now this was option number two. Very straightforward. You don't have to leave your WordPress. Very easy, quite simple actually for everyone to, uh, of you to do it. Now I want to show you the third way or one of, well, the third way that I know and this is also uh, one possible way which is, uh, well, not really more advanced. It's just a bit well, I don't know. For me, it's easier because I have a lot of access to the directories on the hosting as well. Yeah, you want to, you can also do it via FTP. So you don't have to touch anything here in the WordPress environment. Um, you basically just use your familiar FTP client like FileZilla, which is one of the most familiar ones or the most uh, popular ones rather. And uh, yeah, just connect to your um, to your domain or to your FTP server via with your username and password and then you should be able to see the um, the structure of WordPress here like it is on the host on the server and uh, yeah so maybe you haven't seen this structure maybe you have basically in this main content in this main uh, folder you have a folder called w minus content and in there you have plugins themes and uh, of course you have to go into themes and there you have the same structure that you are um, that you see when you go into your WordPress environment and then in appearance 
themes and uh, there appear all your themes and these are nothing else than just folders in here. You have the Sephir and the Sephir child. Now, okay, so you, you could just go and delete the Sephir one, um, but yeah, it would cause, it could cause some problem if somebody's visiting your site at the moment. So like we did before, very similar, we just activate another theme like the 2014, 2015. Uh, actually, it doesn't matter which one. And yeah, funny enough, it also says update available here. So I could go and update all of them, but uh, since I don't use them, it doesn't make too much sense. So the same as we did before, but just a bit more manual. You get rid of this Sephir, of this parent theme folder. You just go there and delete it like you would do it on your um, file on your local file system on your Mac or on your Windows and uh, it takes some moment and uh, you guess already I think what you do after and this is right you basically copy the parent uh, directory the parent file the parent theme also instead in this theme directory but before you have to actually extract it because um yeah otherwise it would not be able to read it and uh, yeah instead of the zip th you then have this impre the um theme and i just noticed of course th in this case i don't need the sapphire the, the impresa one i'm sorry i actually need the sapphire one and um uh, let me just quickly find out where I have these. I have a folder here which is called WP Themes. There are a couple of files in there and here I have the Sephir folder. So let's just make sure the Sephir folder is gone. Somehow say it failed to retrieve the directory listing. Let me just skip ahead and connect properly to my FTP. Okay, now here we go. I guess I just had the wrong password in here. And uh, let's go into the themes directory again and let's make sure the Sephir directory is gone and it is. So all we have to do now is manually take this Sephir uh, directory from our mm, local disk and move it in the themes directory. So make sure to place it correctly and then it goes jup 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 and uploads all the files to your hoster and afterwards we have the same result we have the correct version of this theme the latest version of the theme directory of the wordpress theme and you're fine you updated your theme as soon as it uploaded all the files here i show you the result in the wordpress okay it took a second but now it's done and now before i refresh my page here again now it says the Sephir uh, version 2.2. I um, update the page. And now it says version 2.9. Woohoo! We updated the theme. Congratulations! Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Bye!